Hey, what's going on guys? Brian here again. Um, for today's video, we'll be doing a tutorial on how to use the UI picker view in Swift 3. Alright, so let's get started. Um, I'm about to create a brand new single view application in the Xcode beta or version 5. If you do not have the beta, go ahead and download it. If you're watching this video and the Xcode 8 is already out officially, then use that. Don't use the beta. But if you don't have the beta, download it and continue watching this video. Alright, so let's get started. Let's create a single application. I'm just going to call this UI Picker View Tutorial. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, the other options are okay. Let's continue. Table my desktop. All right. Okay. Now let's go to the storyboard. And we're going to drag over UI Picker View. Search here in the bottom right. Just search for UI Picker right here. Put it right in the middle. The middle is okay. I'm going to center this horizontally and vertically in a container. All right. Then I'm click this, and I'm gonna click on my keyboard Command Option and Equals, which will all the resizes according to constraints. Okay. Or if you don't want to do that, you can just click on the element, hit the triangle right here, and hit Update Frames. It does the same exact thing. It's just a shortcut. Okay. Now I'm going to grab a button. Um. Do I want a button. Actually, you know what? I'll just do a label instead. Because I'm not really firing anything. So at the label, I'm going to drag this across. Okay, drag it across. To yeah, it's alright. Just hit me over here. Align that. Okay. And set left and right, leading and trailing, zero zero. And then I'm going to set the horizontal and container. Actually, that's not what I want to do. I want to uh, set the top, not the horizontal. There we go. Okay, now let's go to the system editor. Let's connect these two to the code. Starting with the label. Let's call this um, title label, or my label, whatever you want. Then we're going to say the UI picker view. Okay. Say picker view. All right. It's done. Go back. Let's go to the view controller now. Okay, we can get rid of this. We don't need that. We don't. We aren't. We aren't using that. So yeah. First things first. Let's uh, at the top here. We gotta implement the the delegate and the del uh, the data source for the UI picker view. So say UI picker view delegate. UI picker view data source. Similar to how a UI table view works, it's practically the same thing. Just the code is slightly different. Um, it's complaining here because we haven't actually implemented those functions that it requires. So let's do that right now. Okay, for the first one, we're going to do number, pick a view, and look for number of rows and component, and it's right here. Okay. Uh, the next one we're going to need is called uh, title for row, right here. Okay. Next one, we're going to say pick a view, and uh, did select row. Good. Okay. And the next one, uh, actually, no, I think that's it for now. Yeah, that, that's it. All right. So now we're going to have to code the, the data that's going to go in the UI picker view. Now, it can be anything, anything you want. You have a, it's usually in the form of an array. So we're going to set up it right now. It's an array of, I don't know, cars. Okay. Let's set this up. I'm going to pass in some random car names I know. You can do the same, do whatever you want. You can do foods, whatever you want. So I'm going to say uh, BMW, uh, Lamborghini, because who doesn't like Lamborghinis? Uh, what else? What else? What else? I can't even think of anything. Let's say Range Rover. That's a nice car. Let's say Bentley. I hope that I can spell that right. Uh, what else? What else? Hmm. Maserati. I hope that's spelled right too. Um, what else? You go as many as you want. I'm gonna do one more. I'm trying to think of another car for this. Let's say uh, Rolls Royce. Yeah, why not? There we go. Okay. Now, for number of rows in component, this function will be called when it's asking for how many rows should be displayed in the UI picker view. So for this, we're going to say, um cars actually because it's returning an int so we're turning it back to it so we say return 
cars that count, which will return the amount of uh, times or amount of uh, values are in this array. Okay. And I forgot, we actually do need one more function, delegate function for this. So it's called number, uh, actually it's not in there. You actually gotta type it out, say number of components. There we go. And number of components is like a section, almost like a table view, just return one for now. You can always adjust later on if you want. Uh, as for title for row, we're gonna return cars row. As you're asking where row is referring to, row is referring to this right here. So what this function is doing actually is, it's going to set up the titles for every row in the pick view. So as you scroll through, it will set up each row corresponding to what uh, what row we're at to the index in the array, if that makes any sense. Okay, hope it does. Uh, for this function, to select row, and this one we're just going to set title label that text equals to uh, what are we saying is equal to? Oh, to cars, and then put in a row here. So whatever row we're at, we're going to set the title label that text to the value of the cars at their current row. Okay, I hope that makes sense. All right. So now we're going to run this on icon SC. It doesn't matter what device we run on; it's going to all look the same, pretty much. And yeah. Actually, guys, I forgot one more thing we need to do. It's like a very important step. We need to set the delegate and the data source to the self we're referring to this view controller, right? So one more thing, we just say pick a view. And we click the top that we drag over, connected. So pick a view dot delegate equals to self. And pick a view dot data source to self. Very important. Don't forget that like I just did. Minor mistake. All right. Okay. Run it now. Right, there we go. Now it finally loaded up. Now as you can see, the UI pick view actually loaded up all the values that's in the cars array. So now when I drag this over, it should change the label to whatever row we're at. So we're dragging again, it will change it to range over. Boom, Bentley, same thing, Maserati, boom, and Rolls Royce. So look, you can go back and forth, same thing, it will automatically it will keep changing it depending on what row you're currently at. And that's pretty much it guys, that wraps up for today's quick tutorial, I hope you guys enjoyed it, like and subscribe for more content, and yeah, I'll see you next one.